Hey, hello, you YouTubers. JBuzzsaw79, Earth A deck profile for you. Now, I know I promised to do one for my um, chance deck last video I made. However, I ended up uh, not going to my uh, locals here, so I didn't get a chance to play test the deck uh, this past Saturday. Um, so I'm bringing you instead a profile of uh, my Harpy deck. I haven't had a chance to make a Harpy deck profile in, gosh, since last year, roughly. And, uh, you know, I, I've done some changes to it. I want to put that out there, I guess, because uh, I didn't realize it's been that long. So I'm going to get right into it here, uh, into the deck profile itself. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we got going on here. So the first one up here for you is uh, Herbie's Pet Dragon. Now, originally in my other build, I, I didn't have this in there. Uh, I was trying to only explore the rank four plays. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I decided to put the uh, Pet Dragon in here just to give it a whirl. Um, basically, I usually drop it going to Big Eye. That's kind of the thing with that. Um, it has helped me in certain points. And, yeah, that's basically the, the mainstay I go into when I put this on. I have considered adding Tempest. I have not done it yet. But, um, nonetheless, so it's just the one uh, dragon in the deck right now for me. So, uh, next up, I'm running the two um, Summoner Monks yet. Uh, Summoner Monk has done some really good work for me at certain points. And uh, I've really been pleased with what he's allowed me to do as far as pushing plays sometimes. Um, you know, sometimes just getting them out there and, uh, you know, I go into one-on-one, <clears throat> excuse me, one-on-one sometimes. Or, you know, a lit cowboy or you know, just something to kind of get the ball rolling. And if, of course, you have the, the sign, you know, pff, yeah, yeah, because... <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting over a cold here also. Um, you know, if you discard the sign, obviously you get the search at the end, which is really what's important here. That's why you kind of want to run the uh, Summoner Monk. Uh, moving on, I'm still maining the two Miss Valley Soldiers. Some people have told me I shouldn't. I should just take them out. Uh, they're, not, they're not good enough for that. Um, I disagree. Yeah, I know if he gets attacked... You don't get his effect, but, you know, there's some times where uh, there'll be people that, you know, they'll, you know, depending on what's going on, I had one guy that pushed and uh, put out, um, you know, like, uh, gosh, his name escapes me, the gotcha gotcha. He threw gotcha gotcha into the defense mode and like, you know, what are you going to do? Or another guy put um, that stupid bird. Gosh, the name escapes me. The, you gain 500 during the standby, and detach, and it can't be targeted. And then once it's destroyed, you can shuffle the t two material in that would make it or whatever. I don't know why his name bothers me. But, that, you know, something like that. I mean, you go ahead, you ram into it with this, you return it, and uh, then you got to deal with it. So, I mean, he does have his uses just in that uh, side alone, but you have to be proactive when you're playing them. Uh, more importantly, is a tuner, so you can go to uh, rank X mainly in this deck, which is really nice. So, and the last non harpy I run is, of course, Elite. Zephyros Elite is really good. Um, you can do a lot of nice things for you. Uh, for example, if you activate uh, Phoenix Chains or uh, Hysteric Party, you know, you can shuffle those cards into your hand for you, reuse them. Uh, push comes to shove, you can even put, you know, hunting ground into your hand that way. Or uh, one time I had nothing else to do, so actually I had played a Steric Sign down, and I used him to come back to put the sign back in my hand. Um, you know, and then got him out that way, and then actually just set sign behind there, and then, um, <coughs> excuse me, somebody else... Uh, like, you know, I set sign on something else, and they didn't even think about it. They just blind MST, and then they re-hit, you know, uh, sign, and I got the search off, and I already used him. So, 
And he, of course, is already a winged beast, so I mean, you get some some uh, nice effects that way with him. Uh, so then we're going to run into the threes, starting with uh, Chandler herself. Uh, she becomes a level seven member when Dragon's on board. So you put your Dragon down, she's seven, you go into Big Eye. Now uh, you can pitch to go get another Herbie card, so that's nice in our outlet. Um, a lot of people still debate about running uh, Harpy One or Cyber Harpy. I run three Cyber Cyber Harpies. Uh, my reasoning, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll share this again. Uh, my reasoning is quite simple. If you are playing like I play, I play the Phantom Phantasmal Dragon. You need three. If you get her out, uh, they can't attack a Harpy card. So having a, the two hundred point increase. To wind monsters generally to me is not enough to warrant me or 300 whatever it is I guess from number one I'd rather just have 1800 beaters but that's my opinion <clears throat> next up three harpy queen <clears throat> harpy queen of course you discard to go get hunters hunting ground that's about all she's good for really and then last of all for monsters I run two dancers a lot of people like to run three. The only thing I would add, as far as this is concerned, I'd like to try one Harpist when that comes to TCG. I don't think I'd play more than one, but, you know, that's just the way of things at the moment. Uh, moving on to spells. Uh, really fast here as we keep going. Uh, I am running two of the uh, MSTs here at this point. Uh, MST only because of the fact that uh, sometimes you're not, you're not sure which one to do with Hunting Ground, and, uh, you know, once you drop Hunting Ground, people might try to hit, hit a target right away. Also, Hunting Ground is more of an aggressive play, and I find that I can set these and kind of just sit on them and wait for people to respond to them, uh, rather than, um, the other way around, so, you know. Um, next up, I am running one Elgin Egotist. Because, you know, it's Elgin Egotist. It's also a very good card. Um, I don't believe you should run more than one necessarily, but some people do. Uh, three signs, because I think you need three signs, because that's kind of the heart and soul of the deck, is to let this do its effect so you can go ahead and just dig into your deck, go get the heart you need when you need them. Um, there's a lot of plays you can do with this for uh, discard outlets in the deck, so that's really nice. Three Harpy Hunting Grounds, because... Uh, they're really good. Obviously, basically, it, the deck bit is secondary objective. It's clear back row, and it does a very good job of that. And people sometimes don't know how to respond to it because it does clean up back row. Um, I've had really good success with this. Uh, also playing it against pendulum based decks because you drop, you know, hunting ground. You play um, dancer, destroy one pendulum zone. Hit this, destroy another pendulum zone. You know, I mean, you hit party you just blow up everything that's over there you know and then respond to them so it's, it's kind of nice that way um then throw a, a mind control only because i don't have enough snatch steel in here and a lot of people play fours yet so that's that's all right um so just have that uh mind control go ahead and grab my fourth monster if i want to do an igzy or something it's pretty nice i have considered adding razia in here only because he is also a winged beast uh, he's wind, and that would give me stuff I could do with him. Um, I do have Book of the Moon. Obviously, you know, let's make sure somebody doesn't comment on it. I'm not talking about tributing, you know, the mind control target off for Ozzy. I'm just saying that Ozzy would be a good fit in here. Uh, Ozzy is wind, so. And <clears throat> the last few cards which I check in is two copies here of the Phalanx Pike. Uh, I borrowed this to a friend of mine when we went to regionals. He wasn't very impressed with it, and, um, you know, first of all, it's a huge power-up card. If you can put it on and just get even one poke through sometimes, it's huge, because it does 900 for every card name the same name, and all the Harpies are Harpy Lady. So, you know, if you get three of them in the grave, even, and... Uh, I did this somebody else. I had put three in the grave and tacked. Um, I got plus 27. And I had uh, 
cyber harpy lady out. Okay, so that made me uh, 45. Okay, and I don't remember what the hell did they have out. They had um. Oh, they had a blue eyes out because you find a blue eyes back ironically, and so 45. I ran over blue eyes. He took 15. Still in battle phase. Pitched another harpy. Activate hysteric party behind that. And uh, pushed for game after that. You know, because basically there's nothing they could do at that point. And the major point being that, and I didn't realize this actually, to be honest with you, until after regionals, is he played a mirror match against harpies. And this actually states the equipped monster gains 900 attack for each card in either graveyard that has the same name as this. So if you're mirror matching another Harpy deck and they have, let's say, two Harpies in Grave and you've had three, that's five Harpies in Grave. That's 4,500 buff from this card. And if that attack gets through, oh my. So lots of damage potential behind that, okay? This video is way long now. I apologize. I've been always trying to keep these for my new under 10 minutes, so, or seven or something. I don't remember. I don't, anyway, uh, moving on, Phoenix Chains, double chains, because chains are good. I don't like uh, doing other stuff. Um, I got the one Compulsion here as well. Uh, double Phoenix Wing Blast. Return puts it on the deck, so it deals with Iggsies and Tributes and things like that. I don't want to deal with it. just kind of does, does deal with them. Also, it's a discard outlet, which is very helpful. Um... Going on from there, I got an Icarus attack because obviously you pop one of these, you destroy two cards. It's kind of a nice aha moment for them. Uh, one bottomless because it's really good, obviously. And then I'm running three hysteric party. Uh, I believe that this card is super good. And people run Call of the Haunted, and I think this is a better choice than Call of the Haunted. So uh, I apologize again that this has come over so long. I believe just because I haven't done a video in about a month is probably why. Uh, stay tuned. I'll have more stuff coming up again here. Now I'll be back into it. And, uh, you know, thanks a lot. Go ahead and thumbs up if you like this. Thumb um, just out if you don't. Please leave comments. I don't mind comments. They help us all grow as a Yugi nation here, so to speak. And uh, please, at the very least, always I like to have this out there is to share this with any friends of yours, uh, anything like that, and just kind of let people watch it. Uh, and also, always feel free to subscribe if you so choose, okay? Uh, thanks a lot. This is JBuzz79 uh, signing off, and I will see you all later.